Hey, I'm Coach Kozak from Hasbin, here today to bring you another free professional workout routine. When I'm all done demonstrating the workout, make sure you click the link in the video description. It'll shoot you over to Hasbin's website where we have the workout instructions. All right, let's get this thing started. A one and a quarter squat is a great way to put extra load on the quads and have extra emphasis on the quads. So we're gonna set up like we would do for a normal back squat, feet shoulder width apart, grab the bar just a little wider than shoulder width apart, centering ourselves under the bar, placing the bar on our traps, building a shelf by retracting our shoulders, stepping back, feet shoulder width apart. And as we do with every other squat, breaking into your hips first, butt back, head up, chest up, all the way down from the one, full squat, and then we're going to do a quarter squat. So as the name suggests, we're only going to go a quarter of the way down. Butt back, quarter, back up. So that's one repetition of a one and a quarter. Now we're going to do a one full again, and then a quarter. One, and a quarter. And as we walk forward, hit the bar on both sides of the rack, slide down. That's a one and a quarter squat. A one leg box squat is an excellent unilateral body weight and strength exercise for your legs. We're just going to need a bench or a box that when we sit down on, puts our knees at about a 90 degree angle. The lower the box, the harder this is, the higher the box or bench, the easier it'll be. So with our feet shoulder width apart and our body's about 6 to 12 inches away from the bench, our weight back in our butt and squat down onto the box or bench with one leg. So pick one leg up and sit down with the weight in your hips. Sit all the way down and then you're going to come back up. Try your best not to use momentum, but instead using a nice control move. Weight back in your hips, opposite leg comes up and stand all the way up. We can either alternate legs or we can do all one leg at a time. Make sure to stay under control during this movement. Don't just pop down and jump back up. This is a one leg box squat. A lateral squat shuffle is an excellent body weight exercise for our legs. We're going to start with our feet together. We're going to step to the side. And as we step to the side, we're going to drop our weight in our hips into a squat position, stand back up, and bring our feet back together. We're going to continue to move in one direction for the prescribed repetitions, and then we're going to head back the opposite way. Stepping, dropping weight back in our hips, and standing up as we step together. Making sure to put our weight back in our hips on every step. A one leg wall sit is an advanced version of the traditional wall sit. Starting on the wall, we're going to put our hips back, we our knees at a 90 degree angle, and then from here, we're going to pop up one leg, Hop onto the other, and whatever you do, don't place your hands on your knees. That's considered cheating. You can have them on your hips, you can have them on your side, anywhere but right here. And then halfway through, you'll switch and stay keeping this leg that's working at a 90 degree angle. That's a one leg wall sit. An air squat is exactly what it sounds like, it's just a squat in the air. To start, we're going to put our feet shoulder width apart. And anytime we squat, we're going to break with our hips first. I've set up a medicine ball for me to use as a placement. I'm going to kiss my butt to the ball and back up. Depending on your fitness level, you may want something a little bit higher or a little bit lower. Now, it's very important not to bounce off of that object, but to just use it as a gauge for depth. Kiss it at the bottom and back up. Butt back, head up, chest up and all the way up. If you feel like you have a good gauge of how deep to go, you honestly don't even need something to sit on. And from the side, butt back first, always important, break with the hips, head up, chest up, and back up. Whatever you do, don't bend the knees first, because if you do, then you end up on the balls of your feet with your knees over your toes, which is a bad angle for your knees. Butt back first, stand up all the way straight. That's an air squat.
Thanks for working out with me today. Make sure you click the link in the video description. It'll shoot you over to Hasfit's website where we have the workout instructions. If you enjoyed this workout, make sure you check out Hasfit's website where we have hundreds of additional free workouts. We have our free meal plans to lose or gain weight, as well as our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs. All there, all for free, just for you. Please do me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It'll really help keep this great service free. Like us on our Facebook fan page or follow us on Twitter. We'll send you the best daily motivation. And while you're at it, stop by our store, pick up a poster or a t-shirt, whatever it takes to help you stay motivated and on track. I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and I'll see you at your next workout.